It's time to witness the wetness. This is Indiendo Bingo. Come on, Molly. Right, come on. Here's some water. Oh, there lovely. What a gent. Sorry for the int- intimidating music. That's great. I think the music puts people off. Yeah. I feel like I'm on a ride. Yeah, yeah. it is quite... Yeah, it's um, a bit like that. Tidal wave. Exactly. Like that. I'm at Thorpe Park here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, now lots of water in your mouths, please. <laughs> it's uh, Molly's debut solo on Inyo de Bingo. Mm. First, we're going to the Trooping of the Colour on BBC One. Mm. Now, Molly, do you know Commanding Officer Major Robert Skeggs? Mm. No? Well, I think you'd be quite impressed by, by what he's able to achieve. <laughs> Commanding Officer Major Robert Skeggs, once again riding Lucy Glitters, who's a real old pro. She's done the last six Queen's birthday parades. <laughs> <laughs> you dare. It's for trying to watch him keeping it in. Sorry. Once again riding Lucy Glitters, who's a real old pro. She's done the last six Queen's birthday parades. <laughs> Lucy Glitters there. Oh, I went, went the wrong way. I'm sorry. Well, it went up back up your nose. Yeah, it just went... Ooh. You okay there, Molly? I saw, not... I saw him really struggling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not, not too wet at the moment for you, is it? No, surviving so far. It's quite dry so far. Now we're going over to you and yours on BBC Radio Four. Now, if you've not heard this show before, the presenters are always kind of prepared to try out new and quite, quite mind-blowing things on on live radio. The advantage of this is. I'm guessing that it's meant to be easier and quicker to use. So was it easier and quicker to use? It was, yeah. I mean, a quick sort of squirt in the bottom and that one was ready. (laughs) (laughs) I hate you. (laughs) Yeah, that got a little little bit wetter there. Right in the private. Was it? I mean, a quick sort of squirt in the bottom and that one was ready. (laughs) Trying a uh, a new type of squirty tea there on you and yours. <laughs> uh, <laughs> water, water, please. God. Thanks to Natalie for spotting that one. Cheers, Natalie. If you've got a clip, send it to scott.mills at bbc.co.uk. Email, say where the clip was, what they said, and we'll find it. Now one of our favourites from Tuesday on Innuendo Bingo. It's over to Highbrow Quiz Only Connect. At last... After all these years, a question I can finally understand on that show. And that's it. Your time is up at the wall. Has frozen, but you found a group. And can you tell me what connects Cheney advocate Francis Turpin? They're all dicks. They are all <laughs> dicks. I can confirm that is correct. They are. Cheney, Avocar, Turpin, Francis, all of them dicks. Oh, Molly. My legs are getting drenched. Yeah, it's, it's my shorts that you seem to be. That's They're all up. dicks. They are all dicks. <laughs> How can they say that? Because they are. <laughs> They're all called that name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, we're heading over to Doctors. What a show on BBC One. <laughs> it's a good show. <laughs> I caught Adele watching it once. Did you? Yeah. Mm. What, uh, which Adele? Adele off of Hello. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> At the Brit Awards. She was getting ready backstage. I was like, what are you going on? Ah, doctors! <laughs> what you should hear his impression of you, Molly. Oh, stop exactly. it. <laughs> Have you heard it? Have you heard it? Let's not no, go down go that on. route. Go on, Scott. I don't do an impression of you, Molly. He always does this because then it gets... Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> It's just awkward now. Anyway, Doctor's on BBC One. This character is is having a well-deserved coffee break. Now, I'm not saying she's greedy, but I think this is a lot to ask for, more, for in a ten-minute break. Give me caffeine, quick. Intravenous or oral? <laughs> Both. <laughs> <laughs> Molly! Took a while, but she blew. <laughs> yes, I got you. Yeah, that's a really good one, actually. Good that spray. Was a great one. All right, game on. Yeah. <laughs> Doctors there on BBC Sweet One. Business. Intravenous or oral? <laughs> Both. Okay, water, please. <laughs> <laughs> water, please. Oh, Martin yeah. sent us that one. Keep your emails coming in. Now let's go over to BT Sport, and it's Michael Owen's post match analysis of Liverpool v Leicester City. Now, he's not played football for a while, has he? 
Mm. I don't know about this technique, but maybe, I don't know, maybe it was a bit different back in his day. I would just go into a place where I couldn't expose myself to a sprint. And I was what I've been watching storage for a while and I was thinking, is he getting to that stage? But today he was happy to absolutely open his legs and, and let rip. <laughs> 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 what kind of football term is that? He was happy to open his legs. He was happy to absolutely open his legs and, and let rip. I don't know. I, I don't even know what he's referring to there. Oh it's the God, way he says God. stuff as well, Michael Owen. <laughs> so downbeat. Yeah, very downbeat. He likes to open his legs, you oh know, and let rip. God. Water, getting please. A bit Are you okay? Here. Where is it wettest now? Uh, probably on my chest and okay. my legs. All right, thanks I'm for glad the update. I'm not wearing trousers. No. Water, please, and spring watch next. I bet entomologist Clive Turner could not believe... What? <laughs> yes? I bet... Water, please. Come on, some refill. Mm. I bet entomologist Clive Turner could not believe his luck when he was told what they'd be filming in this particular segment of Springwatch. It was a golden opportunity for entomologist Clive Turner to investigate something fascinating. Now, he'd been wanting to do this for years, and he is, yes, hoovering the beaver. <laughs> oh, my God! He literally just drenched me! <laughs> That's a great one. <laughs> oh, my God. I've literally been on Tidal Wave now. I literally... And he is, yes, hoovering the beaver. <laughs> hoovering it. I hate you. Oh, my God. <laughs> you told right. him you hate him twice now. <laughs> Which means you do. It means I really do. Water, please. Uh, Not many to go now, Molly King. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to come dine with me on Channel 4. Mm. They love it, don't they? They will do anything to win a grand. Mm. Water, please. <laughs> <laughs> Although I really hope Jenny knows what she's doing, because it seems a bit much. In the kitchen, Jenny's thoughts turn to her intriguingly titled dessert, Etoile de Mer. Etoile de Mer. I mean, it just sounds... It just sounds rude, doesn't it? I wanted surround, to surround my chocolate starfish with a little mystery. <laughs> oh, yeah, straight in his face. That Go felt, on. That felt malicious that to me. That was revenge. I wanted to surround, to surround my chocolate starfish with a little mystery. <laughs> <laughs> I've got one more. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, Finally, God. you can get changed Is after this. this. The last one. Yep. Oh, thank goodness. Jekyll and Hyde. Right, last one. On you? ITV. Let's go big for mm. this one. Ready? Mm. Did you watch Jekyll and Hyde, Molly? Mm. No. Mm. You might want to give it a look when you hear what happened to this particular mm. crime fighter. It's the policeman. He's been sucked dry. <laughs> <laughs> what a terrible way to go as well. <laughs> I went over my shoulder. It's been sucked dry. And that was Molly King, innuendo bingo. If you didn't, watch, if you didn't watch live, we'll get the video up for you later. She got it on my back. Oh, I'm soaking. Oh. You don't have to say you enjoyed it, but, <laughs> Thank but God. thanks for that. <laughs>